one of the most influential and known figures of the history of the 20th century was killed two minutes away from here. Hi everyone, today I'm in Lake Como, the place where I come from, and I'm really close to a place which changed the history of the world, because one kilometer away from here, Italian fascist dictator Benito Mussolini was killed before his body was brought to Milan and was hung. Benito Mussolini was born in Italy on the 29th of July, 1883. His birthplace was a small town called Predappio in the province of Forlì in Romagna, central Italy, which you might have heard of recently because of the horrible floodings which took place there. During the fascist era, the town was known as Duce's town. Duce means leader in Italian and was the title with which Mussolini was and is still known in Italy. His father was a blacksmith and a socialist, and his mother a school teacher and a devout Catholic. Mussolini started his career as a journalist and then went on to found and lead the National Fascist Party, and he even became one of the most known dictators of the first half of the 20th century, leaving an indelible footprint in Italian history. He was Prime Minister of Italy from the March on Rome in 1922 until his deposition in 1943, as well as Duce of Italian fascism from 1919 until his execution in 1945. In 1940, he joined the Second World War on the side of Germany. As founder of fascism, Mussolini inspired and supported the spread of fascist movements developing internationally in the years between the two world wars. There are different versions regarding the capture and execution of Mussolini, but I'm going to give you the most known and official version. On a personal note, what gives me goosebumps is that my maternal grandfather was born in Mezzegra in 1944. And it's quite strange to think that when he was a toddler, such historical events were happening a few steps away from his home. In April 1945, Mussolini was leaving the beginning of the end of his political career and arrived in Milan for a treaty to discuss his surrender with the resistance. However, he didn't have time to negotiate, as a general of the German SS decided to cease all the hostilities. He therefore decided to flee Milan dressed as a German soldier. He started traveling north, and it is not clear whether his objective was to attempt to cross the Swiss border or to go to the region of Valtellina to attempt a final mission. During his escape, he left his wife, Rachele Guidi, on Lake Como, bringing with him his mistress, Clara Petacci, and her brother, who were supposed to impersonate a Spanish diplomat and his wife. But Mussolini wasn't traveling with a small group. The convoy of German trucks and cars was very long and attracted a lot of attention while passing through the narrow streets of Lake Como. As a matter of fact, the 27th of April, at 6.30 in the morning, the convoy was intercepted near the village of Dongo, in the north of the lake, by a group of partisans from the Garibaldi Brigade. After some fire was exchanged by both sides, Germans decided to retreat, as they knew that partisans knew the villages and mountains of Lake Como better. The partisans let the Germans retreat, as long as all the Italian hierarchs who were traveling with them were consigned to them. Archives claim that partisan Giuseppe Negri recognized Mussolini, who was immediately arrested. The partisans in Dongo were so happy of having arrested Mussolini that they asked him to write and sign on a piece of paper that it was their brigade, the one who arrested him, so that no one else could take the merit. That night, the news of Mussolini's arrest arrived in Milan, and the Committee of National Liberation decided that Mussolini had to be shot, even though the resistance wanted him alive, because of the war crimes that he was guilty of. The partisans who had captured Mussolini and Petacci drove back south along the lake. Archives claim that Petacci insisted to be with Mussolini, and so they spent their last night alive together in a modest house belonging to the family de Maria in Mezzegra.
The following day, they were shot in front of the gate of Villa Belmonte in Hamlet, Giulino di Mezzegra. Okay, so we are here, really close to the gate of the house in front of which they killed Benito Mussolini and his mistress, Claretta Petacci. This is the place here. And they were shot to death on the 28th of April in 1945 before their bodies were brought to Milan where they were hung in a square in front of people so that people could spit at them and just yeah obviously they were really really hard times was Benito Mussolini and that was his mistress who was 20 years younger than him. One of his many mistresses. After this happened, the corpses were brought to Milan and were left to the anger of the people in square Piazzale Loreto and later hung head down above the pump of a petrol station. I read that this was done because 15 partisans were killed and subjected to this humiliation the previous year. To give you some context, Adolf Hitler committed suicide the following day, on the 30th of April 1945. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. I know the subject was not the lightest, but I thought it was interesting and I hope you thought it too. If you'd like to support my channel and show YouTube that you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up and perhaps a comment as well, or share the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!